Hi, this is Anthony from Forza Tune. In this video, we're going to show you how to build your own handling tune in under 5 minutes with our easy to use app. We are demonstrating the whole process start to finish on this Honda S2000, which has been reset to the default setup. Before we get to tuning, make sure you have upgraded the necessary parts. These include brakes, springs, dampers, and anti-roll bars. You also want to purchase the race differential and if you've done a number of power upgrades, you might want to get the race transmission. We'll cover gear tuning in the next video. Aerodynamic upgrades are optional, but recommended as you start to get into the higher classes. The Forza Tune app needs a few pieces of data to get you a proper setup. I find it's easiest to start in the front tire width screen. Pressing up on the directional pad shows us the weight and percentage of front weight, which we can enter into the app pretty quickly. The drive type can be found to the right of B600, and the two darker set of wheels at the back of the car diagram tell us it's rear wheel drive. Starting on this screen also gives us the front tire dimensions. If you want, you can leave these at zero, but it helps fine tune a bit. We get the same info for the rear tire after jumping over to that section. Now press X to jump into the tune setup screen. Hit the RT button several times until you get to the arrow settings, Let's change these a little for illustration. Now there's no perfect value and for stock arrow um, you just leave everything at zero. But for here we're going to copy over 80 and 150. With Forza Tune you can add oversteer or understeer into your base tune depending on your personal driving style and preferences. For now we'll leave this at 100%. In this iOS version of the app, your results will update automatically, and in Android, you can simply click Recalculate Setup. Here we see our recommended tire pressure settings, which are almost always 28 PSI. Enter those into your tire menu in the game. On the next screen, we see gearing. Again, we'll cover that in the next video. It's also very easy using this app. For alignment, you can swipe the app to see camber, toe, and caster settings, and then copy them into the game. Do the same for anti-roll bars. And the same for spring rates. Now for ride height, you'll want to start about four clicks above minimum. If you notice poor handling during your test drive, this is the first thing you want to increase. So some cars like the Volkswagen Beetle need to be set higher. For damping, the app also gives you front and rear rebound along with front and rear bump stiffness. We already did arrow, so for brakes, we set brake balance to 54% and brake force to 80%. Now note, this is for use without ABS assist. Copy over the differential settings as well, and we are set. If at any point you need a refresher, instructions are always a tap away. And metric units are available for racers across the world. Oh yeah, and feel free to share and or rate the app. We really appreciate it. After applying or saving your setup, take it out for a test drive. Now you want to give yourself a few laps to get used to the new setup. And you can also use the driving lines to help you hold a path. Now th this app won't work miracles and you'll still want to be slower into and accelerating out of the turns. Now you can use the base Forza Tune setup as is, but please don't be afraid to change some settings to suit your driving style. A few notes, this setup is designed to be used without stability and traction control assists. Not only is it more fun, but it helps you level up a little quicker. Also, whenever you change your vehicle's weight, tire widths, arrow, or weight distribution, rerun this handling calculator to get a new accurate base tune setup. And that's it. You can get Forza Tune 5 for iOS and Android. See the links in the description or visit ForzaTune.com. Again, this is Anthony from Forza Tune. Thanks for watching.